Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 2.34 from Sadiku book. So the question is using series or parallel resistance combination, find the equivalent resistance seen by the source in the circuit and find overall absorbed power by the resistor network. So we need to find out the resistor that seems from here. So let's name this as R equivalent. Okay, so how to calculate that? Let's trace out one by one. So the R equivalent will be this resistance here. So we'll have 20. 20. That will be in series with this resistance here. That will be parallel with the rest of it. So let's just use 160. And that will be in parallel with inside this bracket. And this is the inside the bracket. So I will have 28 here. Let's, let's do that. 28. And that will be in series with uh, this 160. But that 160 is in parallel. So let's do that. 160 is in parallel with all of this. I will have 60 plus 80. That will be 140. 140 plus 20. That will be 160. And that will also in series with this resistor here. That will be 52. 52. Okay, now we just need to solve this. Let's you do this. So I'll have 20 plus 160 in parallel. Let's do 28 plus 52 first. That will be 80, right? I'll have 80. 80 plus 160 parallel with 160. Okay. Maybe we need to get aside and calculate this first and that one will be 160 multiplied by 160 divided by 160 plus 160 so we'll have 160 multiplied by 160 divided by 320 so we can cancel this out into two that will be 80 right so here in the highlighted one that will equal to 80 and 80 plus 80 will be 160. So let's do that. We have 20 plus 160 equivalent in parallel with 160. We already calculated this. That is this one. So I will have 20 plus 80. Or the R equivalent will equal to 100 ohm. Okay. Now... We need to find out the power, the power. So, but we know the voltage that is attached to the resistor is 200 volt. So we can actually calculate the power by using V squared divided by the R equivalent. The V squared is 200 plus multiplied by 200 divided by the R equivalent, which is 100. So this will cancel out into 2, and that will equal to 400. And the unit is what? So this is the answer for this question. If I did not make any mistakes. But let me, let me know if I did make any mistake in the calculation. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.